All right, in this video, we're going to talk about pop bars. Now, pop bars are essentially the same thing as pop-ups. The big difference is the location that it shows. Now, let's go out and create one. Now, you'll notice it says add a banner. A pop bar is literally a banner that you can put on the top or the bottom of any page. So let's go ahead and call this banner a demo of pop bars. And let's go ahead and put it on the bottom like you've seen before. And let's go out and set that up. And we'll leave it on on load, which you understand. We are going to leave the shadow on. As you can see here, shadowing is just a simple feature of making it look like it has a shadow or not. We're going to allow it to be closable and button color of it we're going to set there. Set up spacers if you want and you can even set up a transparent background if you want. And last but not least, just like pop-ups, you can set the URL that you want to show such as http colon forward slash forward slash snaptactics.com and have it show up. It's going to look really funky because you're previewing just a small slice of a page here as I did here. See how I did that there? You can enter your own information here. Hey, this is a demo. You can add cool things like images, videos, links, like messages, whatever you want to do and put them on the bottom of the page just like you want there as well too. So let's go ahead and hit preview and when you hit preview it's going to open the page and I'll show you the pop bar here. Now let's go ahead and look at it in a real life scenario just like we did before. You'll jump over here the links again and this works in your links and your rotators again and you'll see this. So as we come in here now we have the pop-ups done. So we're going to remove the pop-up and add the pop bar. We'll go out and set that demo that we did and hit update. And once we set that all up we'll be very very simple. We'll save to the system and immediately real time it'll be updated. So if anybody's on this page it will update as well. So let's go and load this. Remember we had the NFL.com. Now check this out. I'm on the NFL's website again, but I've got this pop bar on the bottom that they can close. This is optional. They always float if you wanted to float here. It's mobile friendly as well, and you can put any message that you want down here. Again, this is for somebody who wants to put a personalized message. And you'll notice again, I've hijacked a page where I'm keeping my URL and my system in here. And that's what the power of pop bars is. Once you're done with pop bars, you can always check the reports just like before, and you can edit each and every one as you wish, again real time, so anything you change right now will immediately take effect of anybody who has the old link or the new link. The links don't change, everything is done inside the system. And that's how simple it is. Everything from button color to changing transparent backgrounds, even whatever you want to put here in the messaging, and again with their easy editor, you can literally go in here and change anything you want and make it look as cool as you want it, as custom as you want. When it comes down to it at the end of the day, and you can preview it just like I'm doing right now, and you'll notice, hey, I just made a big change to this site. An important thing when it comes to having a tracking link is that this hijack I did here with the pop bars only exists if you use the URL. So you'll notice right up here, I use the URL that I got from Clickopia. If I go to NFL.com, it's not going to display or show because I'm no longer inside of my link. That's the powerfulness and the reason why pop-ups and pop bars are such a powerful tool. Very simple, very easy, and very powerful for your marketing. We'll see you on the next video, and we'll talk about timers. We'll see you there.